Tamara de Lempica became a true icon of her generation. Following the First World War, the city of Paris welcomed a spectacular revival of cultural vibrancy and modern progress. This period came to be known as the Anne Fall, the French Roaring Twenties, and represented a marked shift toward opulence and glamour. The 1920s are also closely associated with the rise of Art Deco, which was heavily inspired by bold volumetric shapes of cubism and became the prevailing aesthetic of the period within design and architecture. No painter is more clearly identified with this cultural moment than Tamara de Lempica. She was one of the few fine artists to fully embrace the spirit of Art Deco and the Anne Fall in her paintings, in turn recording this period of history in its own visual vocabulary. Born in Poland, Lempica went on to study painting in St. Petersburg and then Paris, where she quickly found a rapt audience. She deliberately fashioned her sitters and even her own image as glamorous and untouchable, channeling the silver screen movie stars of the time, such as Greta Garbo and Betty Davis. In fact, in her memoir, Lempica recalls that she was once mistaken for Greta Garbo, which was perhaps the ultimate compliment. Through her carefully cultivated persona and bold cosmopolitan canvases, Lempica quickly established herself as the quintessential portrait painter of the Parisian social elite. Portrait de Romana de la Salle was painted in 1928, the most successful period in the artist's career. Paramount to Lempica's portraiture of this period is the sense of dramatic performance she instills. Her sense of illumination is quite theatrical, with chiaroscuro redolent of neoclassicism, or perhaps even a spotlight or a camera flash, capturing the ephemeral aesthetic of Hollywood's golden age. The lighting also emphasizes the voluminous shapes of the figure and background, alluding to an evolution of cubism combined with a return to figuration, explored by her contemporaries in the paintings of Fernand Leger or in the sculptures of Alexander Archipenko. Romana de la Salle was the daughter of the Duchess de la Salle, a prominent divorcee and patron to women artists. She was also Lempica's close friend. In fact, Lempica hung a portrait of the Duchess, painted in 1925, in her own bedroom on the Rue Guy de Maupassant. This portrait of her daughter was painted just one year before the 1929 Wall Street market crash sent shockwaves through the global economy. The Duchess and her daughter lost much of their wealth and went on to live in a small alpine village, virtually abandoning the society in which they had so triumphed. In this sense, this portrait further underscores the fleeting glamour of the Parisian upper class during this time. Lempica's own artistic production slowed, symbolizing the end of an era that was as much ephemeral as it was riveting. Even if this prime period of Lempica's career was cut short, she became a true icon of her generation, and her legacy has resounded throughout the past century, with her paintings entering the collections of many celebrities and tastemakers, including famed German fashion designer Wolfgang Joop, who was the previous owner of this very work. Even musician Madonna has cited Lempica as one of her major influences, and incorporated several of Lempica's paintings into her music video for the song Vogue in 1990. I am Scott Nischel, Head of Auctions for Modern and Contemporary Art at Sotheby's New York, and this picture, Portrait de Romana de la Salle, will be offered in our Modern Evening Auction on November 14th.